Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play of Aragon, European of Souls 4. Here we are, just dealing with a certain Burgundian nation. And well, there's not all that much that can be really said. Silk will actually be a bit more valuable later on. So I am going to build that there now. Some Burgundian Hellboy. There's the potential of them attacking here. Now I'm going to take Nevers. This is no, it's actually a conquest for Barois, not Nevers. But Nevers' capital it isn't really of anything of note. But I imagine France does want it. And I'm going to be able to begin helping in battles up here now. Who is he going down there, actually? He might be going to try and take me on down there. Looks like it. I'm going to actually send you down here. That is a coastal siege, and it is a pain in the ass. We've just won the Siege of Nevers. This is a farmlands province, and I do have the superior numbers, and he has no... Does have a leader? One 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 two. Oh, if you insist, go on attack. He's locked in. I am going to get there with my army, and look at that. Thousand casualties this early on. Bloody hell! That was a victory. You can't say anything else. So now it's these two. Their turn. Ooh, big losses early, this early in the game. That's a big surprise, I'll be honest. I have not seen losses this large this early in the game. I guess I am going for the highly offensive infantry, so losses on both sides are exceptional. But that's just two big battles I've really just triggered, really, and won. No, he's changed his mind. He, no, he does want to attack that. And the French still don't want to come and assist. They just do not want to help. But the losses are definitely tilted towards him. But my troops are drained. They need to pull back, I think. Do I want to retreat or do I want to stay? It's a retreat. I can't control it, but... No, I think I might have, actually. I'm pulling out of there. That's almost... <laughs> yeah, that raised the war participation a bit. Just a little. So, that's just drained. Literally, my armies to the very brink. That they can sustain. And that is probably one of the biggest battles, if not one of the biggest I've seen early game, with heaviest losses early game. Like, I took down two... It was two horrendous battles, and then one that did drain me a bit more significantly. Like, bloody hell. So, I'm going to have to replenish both armies. And that's going to take a few months to do. Now, the French are going to be able to get more participation during that time. I'm going to move into the mountains just to get a bit closer to the front line for when I go back in. Now, I can't go into Fran uh, French territory if I want the full recovery rate. So, theoretically, it'll take about six, eight months for them to recover. Is he going... Yeah, he's going to go and deal with him, I think. I'll probably go and siege this down, actually, because I can. And I doubt they're going to be bothering the army up there. So one more tick, and then I'll rush there. And I guess I can send the other army there. It's going to be very little resistance, I think. The French are having a good run for their money there. The Burgundian duchy, duchy now, is highly resistant, but 
a lot of its troops are made up of these lesser things. So he has more leaders technically than us, but which is a bit weird. And I think uh, wine is going to be something bigger later on as well, so I'm going to build some stuff for that. Oh, what's this? The French Navy is fighting. Is it going to win? It's got more light chips and it did ultimately win. Give to France. And actually, will this actually reduce my participation actually? At the moment I have 105.1 or 20. So I've paused. Let's see what happens when I give hit Nevers to France. Just as high as before, it seems. So that's actually quite good. It's not determined by the land you hold, but it's determined by what you're doing. So if you've sieged it in the first place, it gives points. I can get behind that. That's a good way of in implementing it. So I'm not going to fight all that much up here. Or am I? This might actually be a bit worthwhile if the English hold out long enough. Yep, it looks like they will. So this is actually going to help the English, but who cares? The Burgundians are the ones suffering, and they're the current enemy. So they're the focus. And I think France would understand. But it looks like it could still be a loss. But more troops are g going in. More. <laughs> and it looks like it's going to be a very, very close battle. And anyway, the English fighting here would not be an issue either, because the English are much weaker than the French. The Burgundians are stronger than the English, so weakening them is better. So we're going to pull off from there. And it looks like England and that pieced out. England no longer considers me a rival. Okay. I could change this. Then. <laughs> Being helped by the Aragonese in that battle, they decide they don't want me as a rival anymore. Heh. <laughs> oh, wait, this is the wrong map prototype. Again? Jesus Christ, you're a retarded guy, aren't you? No, really. This guy has embarrassed the court twice. How are you managing this? You mong. <coughs> <coughs> Crap. Anyway, opinions map mode is... What am I doing? Still friendly, but uh, I'll be able to use some favors and see if I can get them to fight the Castilians anyway. I'm still going to gain enough, I think, to produce some stuff. Once Brittany is fully occupied, I'll be giving that province to France, and then I'll be going over there with both armies, as of again. Actually, I don't want to go into there, because, you know... That involves... Well, I can go and help down here, if that lasts long enough. And that looks like it will last long enough at this rate. Additional tick. Get in there, get in there. It's three days. Hold out, France. Hold out. I might have just actually made the battle a victory. Might have. Because that army might have not got there otherwise. 
I am important. Okay, let's give that to the French. And let's start pummeling Burgundian armies. This army just needs a break. It needs a break. Go back to the homeland. Picardy. So is he not going to peace out Brittany? I think he might want a full annexation, but Brittany is not accepting it due to the fact he has allies in the war. Hmm, that's a likely case. Enforced services, regiment costs. That would also give mercenary maintenance, which would actually help quite significantly. Now, the French Navy is... He just crushed them. I think it's going to go and blockade this now, which is good. Now, there's a tiny Burgundian stack there. Yeah. Which I can go and deal with. Brittany did this piece out. That's good. French gained land. That's good. I think I gained money from that. I was not paying attention to the peace deal at all. Portugal does not like me, so what? The French just took that out, nice. Let's get over there. Got 6,000, it's strong enough again. Oh, he's blockading that up there, not here. Oh. Okay. I could do this. I just need to build one ship. And that one ship is going to be a heavy ship. Om nom. Have my ducats, we're building shit. I want to capture this. So I can sit in mountains and I would easily win many battles, I think. He's going to get there, I think, earlier than I can. There's only just under 2,000 there. They do have a leader, but I don't think it's enough. They're being flanked. They're going to take heavy losses, if not, you know, a squish. So I do have the highest participation. Genoa's done some stuff, but not enough, really. So the French have grown significantly, and I might be able to use this war as the point where I start my own significant growth. Charles. More f land for the French. I'm not going to get there on time. I don't know why the Genoan troops. Maybe it's because they're tech behind. Yes, it is. Good job, Genoa. You're not good. I think what I'm going to do is have you go to there. This guy can go and hunt this. No, don't go through all of his troops. Give to the French. I think, yeah, he's going to take that. So I'm going to send him up from Bourbon to the province that is being sieged and has been sieged for quite some time. Who is he going to fight it? 
He might be going to fight me. I am not. Why is Na how has Naples got up there? Did you just like take your transport fleet and specifically go all the way up to there? Hmm, that hurts just a bit. Now I'm taking more attrition than necessary, but I do not want to. I'm going to keep you nearby, actually. If I didn't have the additional manpower, I would have ran out a while ago. Taxation there, please. The French have got this, no doubt about it. The speed of the siege here is gonna I'm gonna sacrifice a bit of that to oh, okay. That's good enough. Let's go and crush some troops, is it? I think Naples needs a bit of help there, and I think all of Naples stuff counts as my stuff as well, so, you know, it's all good. <sighs> Some good shit. Baroys, I'm gonna I'm gonna siege it just to get the war goal. The Burgundians have stopped really, they've ran out of steam. And now it's just it's it's now just sieging, I think, mainly. Lots of it while at it. So the French are a good ally, it seems. So now I'm going to be sieging these two forts. French got that one. Seems all good. And I am lose. I have lost a lot of my manpower, and a lot of my advantage, really. I'll use caution. Well, uh, uh, I'm not sure. I should have probably gone for the other ones, but I prefer to use the caution and avoid inflation. Like always. So let's see. These two forts are both going to fall around the same time, it seems. Or theoretically would, but, you know. It's this game. It's going to be RNG dependent. It could very easily go that both forts are going to last forever. Now, I have lost an advisor. Yeah, I haven't really... Right, yearly inflation reduction. Yeah, I'll take that. Because that would reduce that. Just enough. Gives me admin points. And that means if any more decisions of certain type come up, well, I can take them very easily. And know which one I'm going for. My second idea group will likely be either religious, economic, or maybe a trade idea. Savoy does like me. Savoy allied with the French? He is. So, he is a worthwhile ally, because me, French, and Savoy. Seems to make sense. France, you're in debt? When? How? Okay, France, how have you managed this? Please don't stay in debt. I need you.
What is this? The French are the ones that are making the piece. They're the ones that decide that. Come on now, France. Make the piece. The French are just like, we want to continue warring forever. This very much could be a bit of a uh, bit far on my part. There we go. Not as many favours as the first war, but it was much harder to assist in. Is that ship still building? It's almost done. So we'll end the episode with that ship coming out in May of this year. So, that was a bit of a heavy duty war. All of this is now going to go down now and well. All of this should become less prominent. So, looks like I'm doing just fine. Manpower reserves need to recover. France, please do not call me into any more wars for a bit. You know why. So, I could increase my trust with them once. So manage this and still get the war. But there's going to be another ten years. So that means it's going to... Yeah, it's going to play out perfectly. Either way, thank you for watching. And I'll sh I shall see you next time. Where we will be, hopefully, finally doing our own war. Against the... Uh, Castilians with the French on our side. Either way, I hope to see you then. Bye for now. See you next time.